Welcome into the season finale. It's a sad moment here for Prep Picks of the Year. Casey Getz alongside Heather Williams and Steve Wilmoth of ESPN Tri Cities, TriCitiesports.com. This week, only one game to pick, guys, and Heather, we'll start with you. It's Southwest Virginia and Chihuahua at home in the state semifinals against Galax. Last year in this game, Chihuahua had to come from behind to get the victory. Kind of a little bit of a shock, I think, to some people that Chihuahua won that game. It will not be a shock this year behind Greg Sanchez, that great offensive line, the quarterback play of Zach Kale. Uh, I'm picking the Warriors to return to the state championship uh, game. Jill Howard returned so many starters from last year. We expected them to be at this point of the year. Here they are. I expect them to play on and get to the state championship game next week. Yeah, Galax, what they feel towards Chihuahua is what Chihuahua feels towards Riverheads, who they want to get a rematch with in a couple of weeks. But first, they got to get by Galax. I think they will. Uh, Chihuahua, motivated, unfinished business has been their motto all year. They need to get one more step before they can focus on a potential rematch with Riverheads in the state championship game. We all like Chihuahua. And finally, guys, because this is our last prep picks of the season, it's been a great year. We want to go with maybe your favorite moment, a memory, or something that's going to stand out to you from this season. Steve, we'll start with you. Well, I'm going to go to Sullivan Central High School. That long losing streak, they had so many opportunities opportunities earlier in the year to get it done. They finally get it done against Sullivan East. Just that entire scene that we saw. I'm so happy for all those great seniors at Sullivan Central. A great bunch. I'm happy they got that win this year and something we'll remember going forward. I'm going to go with and with apologies to Joe Montana and Dwight Clark. The catch at Abingdon in the game against uh, Ridgeview uh, made it on to uh, ESPN Sports Center, made it on to Sunday Night Football. Uh, just an amazing catch. When you saw it in person, you couldn't believe it happened. When you saw it on tape, you really couldn't believe it happened. Uh, it was a fun moment for, for Abingdon for sure. And Heather, hold thoughts and remember is that you were the one that blew it up for him there because you got <laughs> he gave you that shout out. Uh, after, just do for me. Uh, it was the Musket Bowl, the setup to the game. Uh, we, New South game night was there for the musket, but we got there at 430. There was already people sitting in the seats three hours before kickoff. The scene in Jonesboro was something I had never seen before. Estimated about 8,000 people at that game. The traffic, when I left at 630, an hour before the end, the traffic was all the way into downtown Jonesboro to get in there. Just a great scene. That's what sticks out to me most about this 2018 football season. Well, Steve and Heather, thank you for another great season of Prep Picks. Really enjoyed. Hope you guys did as well.